I'm going to solve the lit code daily problem for October 3, which is minimum time to make rope colorful. So let's read the question. Um, Alice has N balloons arranged on a rope. You are given a zero index string colors where colors I is the color of the eight balloon. Alice wants the rope to be colorful. She does not want two consecutive balloons to be of the same color. So she asks Bob for help. Bob can remove some balloons from the rope to make it colorful. You are given a zero indexed integer array. Needed time where needed time is the time in seconds that Bob needs to remove the add balloon from the rope. Return the minimum type Bob needs to make the rope colorful. Okay so just understanding the question we are given a string of colors and um in the string um some of the balloons could be either could be consecutive and which is what alice doesn't want so we need to remove the um consecutive uh, balloons from the colors um, based on the information given uh, so the information given is the time needed to remove each balloon and we need to remove the balloon which um, takes the least time so we need the total minimum time to remove uh, consecutive balloons to make the rope colorful uh, given here is an example so uh, we have balloon blue red blue blue and a green so it's obvious that we these two are consecutive and we need to remove one of these and um, from the given information which is needed time the time to remove uh, the blue which is in the second index and the third index so time to remove from the second index is three from third index is four so we we are going to remove the balloon from the second index so we remove this and we get this which is what we want um, similarly here they are all colorful so we don't remove anything and the output is zero and here in this case these two are consecutive so we remove one of these based on the time uh, the list time is taken by the balloon at zero index so we remove this one and again for these two the list time taken is by the last one so we remove this one so and we get our value talking about constraints um the length of colors is equal to the needed time which is equals to n and n is always greater than equals to one so we'll either have one balloon at least one balloon and needed time is one or greater than one and less than this value and colors are all lowercase english letters so basically this example um we uh, we need to remove two consecutive um um characters to make them all you know um non-consecutive to make to make consecutive characters uh, not same so let's see an example first um i'll create my own example suppose we have something like one um two okay a characters a b a a a b b and a c and the cost is one um separate them by spaces so it's easy to look and a two a one a three a one again um two one again and um two again and a one let's make this equal and a two again so uh, we will actually need to compare two consecutive ones so i'm gonna compare this one this one with the right pointer here so since uh left and right both are uh, different so i increment my left and right and now b and a are again different so i just increase my, my left pointer by one and right pointer by one now left pointer and right pointer both are equal so we now compare the time and the time taken by left is less so um, i'm just gonna remove this one and uh, this character from here so i'll just increment both left and right for that one and um add mean time plus so increment mean time um plus by the time taken to remove this which was equals to one 
now again um, these two are again equal right the left and right one is are both again equal but the value of left is 3 and the right is 1 which means we need to remove um, this value so I just increment R and then I also add the value of time taken to remove um, the right pointer and increment the right pointer by one and now my left pointer is this one and right pointer this and both of them are different so I increase both of them now here in this case um, I actually do not increase J by one because if I uh, add left by one because I am actually not deleting this from my array but just um, adding the values to this one so I will put my left uh, uh, left I'll make left equals to right and increase right pointer value by one now these two are again equal and um, we just remove one of those so I'll just remove the left one add the value to minimum time and now these two are different so we again increment this and since now the value of r is greater than the length of the string is equals to the length of the string so we just stop there so this is the minimum time we need uh, and just by looking at this i guess that's correct right we remove this one we remove this one and then we remove this so we get a one here and then we remove uh, between these two we remove uh, a so we get a one from here and between these two we remove this so total it's equals to three so this is what we return and now let me just uh, code this Uh, let me just write my code so mean um let previous we will need a previous value and uh, a current current value initially I'm setting both of these equals to uh, empty string and let mean time equals to zero um, now for loop let i equals to zero and j equals to minus one I'm setting this to minus one because uh, I'll just let uh, tell you about that in a minute let's call it the plant i plus plus and um previous equals to current current equals to colors i index and if previous is equal to current what are we going to do is we just uh, need to remove the elements so which element should we remove should we remove the previous or a current that depends on the time take time it takes right so if um and it, it needed time of j is less than needed time at i then we will remove the j item so um mean time plus equals to needed time j and um, j equals to i else else what are we gonna do is we are gonna remove the it item so time plus equals to time i and yeah, J remains the same so we are not going to do anything about J else both of them are not equal then we uh, change the value of J to the value of I and I is incremented from here every time the loop is called so now we return our minimum time and yeah 
So let's try running our code. Okay, let's try all the test cases. Mm -hmm. Let's try submitting this one. Great. So talking about the time complexity, since we have one for loop which grows over the length of the colors, so the time complexity is big O of N and space complexity is O of 1 which is a constant space complexity because um, the space uh, doesn't increase with the increase in the length. So yeah, that's all.